so the old temple is here. There wouldn't be a stone circle here, would there? I wonder if olive trees would grow here. Jesus, you scared me. I don't me. think so. Could be a great business. Plant an orchard across the river, press the oil, sell it up and down the Nile. <laughs> Just like the olive trees back in Cyrene. This is not Cyrene. Not everything from there is better. I like my sesame oil better. <laughs> Besides, the area you're talking about, it's not safe. Cursed, maybe. Oh, My sister really? was gathering herbs near there last month and told me she heard weird singing in the middle of the night. Mm, I think I'm in the right place. Hey, madam. Peace, Nebet. What are you doing out here? Gathering herbs for the healer of Letopolis. Is it safe here? He's dead. Nothing in this world <laughs> is safe, friend. I'm pretty sure he's the dead. The city is plagued by sandstorms and snakes. Am I more at risk in the wild? Ha. <laughs> you speak truly. However, while I don't know where you are going, be careful of the ruins. Oh? Why is that? I went too close once and found an opening that led beneath the ground. I was curious, but then I heard weird, otherworldly singing. Care to like mark it on my map, madam? Don't laugh. I do not know what it was, and I don't mark want to your ever map. find out. <laughs> where was this? Just kidding, I'm married. I don't remember. And if the gods are good, I'll never see it again. Nor you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, screw off. I'm going. Okay. The opening is. Oh. This place is guarded. Is that the opening? No, that's another chip. Weird. Okay. It's just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Really, Senu? You're not going to mark the, the underground thing for me? Right? Fine. I see how it is. Eh, let me go ahead and switch to my predator bow and get down. See what I can do. <gasps> oh, gosh. I do not like the way that you are. Oh, this is an investigation area, really. Oh crap, that was a chain assassination opportunity and I missed it! I forgot that's a thing. There's a lot I've forgotten about this game. I'll go one or two weeks without playing and then my first like combat situation is just like all over the place while I try to figure out which buttons do what all over again. Hey, what? Oh shit, no! I missed! Hi, mongrel. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning things I've already learned. What? Ah, uh, you poop! Going to kill you! Well, alright then. Yeah, that was cute. <laughs> nope, get down, Bayek. Down, down, down. Down, boy. Down, boy. Okay. Alright, well that could have gone better. But nonetheless! Where's that, uh, where's that? Oh, it's down there. Okay. Oh. Oh. This place is creepy. Is this another freaking ritual thing? Oh, great prophet, we bring you these valuables and offering to our beloved circuit. Hmm, you don't mind if I take him. I'm sure Sir Ken will smite me for this. Oh. What is that sound? Voices? Ghosts? I don't hear anything. Demons? I need to find the source of the chanting. I don't hear anything. But... Oh, I hear it. I hear it now. That is definitely ominous. Loot everything first. Aha, I knew you were lootable. Oh, what? That's a. Oh! Oh! Am I not able to travel through this way? Oh my. Hello. 
That sure is creepy sounding. I'll, I'll give it that. It's very creepy. So th this actually is a dead end. And I need to head over there. Okay. Very well. Oh, now that's a good view. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wait. Whoa, you guys are underground too? You have to be the chanters. You guys are the ones chanting, and I'm gonna have to make my way to you over here. No matter! How close am I to level 28, by the way? Oh god, I, I barely hit 27. Great! Oh. Oh, it's this- Oh, Hathor! Really? The goddess of love. I got it right this time. Well, let's go ahead and do that while we're out here. We haven't done a stone circle in a while. Let's do it. There she is, the woman herself. Hathor makes a mean stick figure. <laughs> Okay, so there's uh, there's the lioness, and um, a moon has got to be around here somewhere. But I'm waiting for the dialogue Hathor, this time. When you met Mother, how did you know she liked you? My heart lit on fire, of course. She smiled at me, and her eyes rendered me helpless. So if a girl likes you, she smiles at you? <laughs> Son, there are some things I can explain to you. The stars... How to fight. <laughs> but women like isn't this. one of them. <laughs> it's something not even the gods can tell. You will have to ask a goddess. Love is one of life's great mysteries, right? No, but that, no. Hathor, there we go. Goddess of motherhood and joy. She is loved by all in Egypt, from the least to the greatest, mistress of the West. She welcomes the dead to the afterlife. How nice. Okay, so now let's uh, let's see how this thing fits, right? Uh, hold on, I'm looking. What? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What? Weird. What does that mean? What is? I've never. I've done two stone circles before this, and I've never seen that happen. What is going on? Am I even on the right star cluster here? How far can I move? Wait, is that? Hold on. Is that what that meant? The like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's showing me where the right constellation is. It's, it's giving me a hint. Here we go. There she is. All right, found her. And voila. Holy crap. Oh man, she's cool looking. My controller vibrated like crazy there. Like it made my fingers tingle. All right, there we go. That's Stone Circle 3 of 12. I've done a moon, the lioness, and uh, uh, Hathor now. I wonder how many others there are. There's gotta be one for like Sobek and you would think Sekhmet as well, but we already have a lioness. Interesting. All right, so that's another Stone Circle down. I've been wanting to find another one of those. So this quest took us directly to one, that's perfect. Alrighty, so let's head on in and see what we got here. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. The mysterious killings have led here. This symbol is old. This place is from a long time lost. A long time lost. All oh, that chanting is like beyond creepy. Huh. And it gets louder the closer I get. Dude, that's almost like didgeridoo-ish. Oh, damn. Okay. Another one. What's this way? I know I'm going the wrong way. I'm, I'm exploring, okay? Oh, here we go. See, and now, now I'm glad I came over here, okay? Back we go. Ooh, the 
level 18, say. Eh? Should probably douse that. Is there any way I could possibly sneak up on these guys? Hi! Prophet of Sirket, really? What is this insolence? Who dares to intrude upon our most sacred world? Well, you're killing people, and I don't like that. A trail of death led me here. This cavern reeks of the profane. Are you the bloody hand responsible? The goddess Serket is she who tightens the throat, and the one who lets us breathe. I do her will. I am her sting. Yeah, okay. All of the souls were chosen from lesser faiths. Okay. But we study their organs and read the signs. Soon we will know Serket's secrets and become immortal. I told you! This was your last chance to win the goddess's favor. Let's test your immortality, shall we? Yeah, oh, there you are. Wait! Cheap shot, motherfucker! Alert! Dear gods, that was close. Do you really expect me to fight when the camera is this close to me? Okay, hold on. Alright, I parried that. That's bullshit! <laughs> Fuck off! Got him! Uh oh. You can join him! I wanna parry you. There we go! How's that for a sting, eh? Dick bag, you are dead. Your delusions of grandeur are no more. Lesser priests, what a dick. Ah, I have failed to appease the goddess. Perhaps I should not have used an unworthy vessel. Yet he was but a humble traveler coming from nowhere, going nowhere. I did him an honor. Yeah, I'm sure. I showed him the light of the goddess. I told him she would take his breath for a moment and then return it with a kiss. And in that moment, he would become my teacher and I would learn all that he saw and heard and touched and smelled and tasted. But it was for nothing. I tried my hand at removing his viscera. Mm. It was not as simple as the priests have said. I may have ruined it all. I realize now that the chosen should be divine, but faces of lesser divinity, priests of other gods will open the door for me. And I will learn and teach my followers how to handle the sacred viscera with more care and love. It seems you didn't learn anything <laughs> from the bodies I found. We will create our gifts in solemn places and the goddess will be pleased and open the doors to the stars for us. Yeah, how'd that go for you? Hmm? How well did, how well did that go? What's this? Profane ravings to the gods. Each king is a rebirth of Osiris. Hey, that's like the Tomb Raider reboot, where every queen after Himiko was Himiko, essentially. It was like transferring her soul into the next monarch. Spoiler alert, but come on, that game's like five years old. In fact, it's almost exactly five years old. It came out in mid-March, I believe, of 2013. So, yeah. Uh, Sirket, who stings the unrighteous, is the keeper of magic and medicine. She is a protector of the funerary rites and a shield of kings. She knows the six names of night, four ways to love. Four ways? Somebody hasn't read the Kama Sutra. There's way more than four. <laughs> and five ways to return from death. Sirket perfects the cut, masters the sting, and relishes the bite. She is sacred to the Keri Heb priests, they who hold the roles. She is mistress to the dream guides, hiccup, burp thing, and instructs them on the sacred dream journey and how to navigate among the stars. Hmm. Ah, uh, the body. Oh, I arrived too late to save this one. Sorry, buddy. You'll be the last victim of this cassette ritual. Based on how he's wrapped, I don't really want to know what part they took off him. Just say it. It doesn't look like he has- wait, hold on. Yep, he doesn't have any incisions on his chest. The game's trying to tell us something here, and it ain't pleasant. Great. What's this? The ravings of a madman. I've unlocked the secret of how to get closer to the light of the goddess. We are a solemn group who all wish to plunder the secrets of death 
and find the answer to eternal life. I have heard of the so-called masters of the land, the hyena, the scarab, the heron, and the ibis, but they are nothing compared to the Lady of Poison. Yeah, they're all dead anyway, so. <laughs> we follow the stars to find a sacred location for the ritual, washed upon the shore and blessed with blood. The chosen one is dressed in the robes of lesser divinity. They are sealed up, and the goddess both steals their air. Once they have passed over, we remove their most sacred viscera from meditation and as a gift to the Lady of Stings. Once we have the goddess's trust, she will make us all god kings and travel to the stars. Yeah, I bet. Great. Awesome. <clears throat> Speaking of, uh, you know, all the naming them, all those, bleh, naming all the previous targets, uh, I looked at the targets map when I was playing this game on my own about a week and a half ago or something, and I see this. I only have the crocodile left. So either it's gonna fill into, like, a pyramid shape and we're gonna have three, two, and then the one, and then the one in charge, the snake, which is technically all of them, but still, um... Or the crocodile is my last target. I doubt the crocodile is my last target. I probably just haven't gotten the next set yet. But I got excited. I was like, wait, really? I've killed them all and the crocodile is the only one left. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, here we go. I'm bloody rich. Well, hello there. Oh, he's sneaking through the crevice and that's his pose. It looks weird. It looks like a weird dance move. <laughs> like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> layer maybe that's it no there it is that's it find a place to rest that's what made me go uh so i'm gonna do this and see what the heck is up with this place i'm gonna fast travel here and head over there and see what that's about because i found that i was literally what i do when i play on my own time to level up i don't touch any side quests i just discover new locations 100 percent old locations gather treasures and just kill guards and stuff, hoping to up my XP. Obviously, it doesn't level me up as fast as, uh, doing quests. Especially the more highly leveled quests. Sorry, madam. But, you know, it's something that I can do to level up a little bit. Hello, hyenas. I'm only just noticing you're there. I'll go around. Thanks. Goodbye. Nope, I'm good. Actually, you know what? You guys could really- ah! Oh my god, you're strong! Okay, never mind. No! No! Free! Oh god, no! This is such a bad situation! No! Deep water! I could use deeper water! Oh god, run! Ooh, that thing bit me hard. Eek! Okay, we're good though. I survived. Whoa. Just in time to make it here. So if this is the place. Reminds me of, uh, the, the Pale Rose map in Dead by Daylight. It's one of the Hags maps. Sistrum. What the holy hell is Sistrum? Sistrum. Oh, it's a, it's a valuable. Ancient musical instrument. Looks like a handheld metal abacus. <clears throat> Used primarily in religious ceremonies. Well, that's not voodoo-y at all. This also reminds me of that so Oh, oops. <laughs> Not yet! Oh, I can't get up. Is that literally it? Is that literally it? Oh my god, I just noticed there's a body here! That better be my horse. I think that's my horse. Okay. <laughs> So that did nothing. Why do I have to find a place to rest if it doesn't do anything? Did it skip forward time and I just didn't notice? Here we are. Okay. I'll move this. My house is now one for the travelers. Share your stories with me to grow your soul. So if I find a place to rest, I am sharing my stories. And it's helping me somehow. Let me do it again. I don't, I don't know what that did, but this place was incredibly underwhelming. Damn it, I was hoping I was going to find something cool there. But, uh, it was not to be. So, let's go to quests and do this one. Meets a scholar in relentless pursuit of a long-lost vault hidden somewhere among the first pyramids. 